Hi, hello, namaste. This is Surabhi, your master teacher of chemistry at Oyatu. How are you doing? Good, no? So, in the past few days, um, I have given you how to make, how to prepare the notes effectively, then how to memorize the periodic table, and uh, some cool experiments that can be done at home. What else? Important reactions, common mistakes which we do everything related to chemistry but today what i thought acha you know let me teach my students how important chemistry is in everyday life ha huh. this is not about how okay okay how many marks it is to know how important is chemistry in everyday life i have seen few students you know saying ki mom chemistry is very difficult mom oh, mom who invented chemistry mom but you know chemistry is one beautiful subject so when you start relating when you start looking around when you start observing you find chemistry everywhere you know and i really hope this video will help you realize ki you have been using chemistry throughout your life maybe that will make you feel ah oh, this is chemistry it's interesting yaar from now even i'll start loving chemistry I really hope that happens. So I'll start the video. Then sit back and relax. Bus. Okay. Enjoy the video. Universe, very vast. Stars, planets. See why you think human, the life can be sustained on Earth, not on other planets. Of course, they are still trying to see because. we have water oxygen chemistry fusion fission stars the hydrogen gas helium chemistry dna which is very small compared to universe dna but the information it holds very important and what is it made of thymine deoxyribose the phosphate bond hydrogen bond chemistry germs stay away from me the protein synthesis how they disrupt the cell wall how they get in chemistry chemical reaction this to be everyone wants to have it right gold diamond and all that this is carbon chemistry c universe to dna or the spine or the receptors chemical receptors in your brain even when i'm talking some reaction is going on inside my body if i'm able to talk that means i need energy so what does that basically respiration which is a chemical reaction germs to gold or diamond chemistry so we have to know right what is chemistry in detail ha So chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of composition, structure, properties, behavior of matter. You all know what is matter, no? Hmm. So matter is something which occupies space and has mass. Can you count the types of various types of matter? We have millions, right? That all comes under chemistry now. You know how vast chemistry is. So we have. few branches to make it easy for us to study chemistry one is organic chemistry it is a branch of chemistry that we deals with the study of compounds containing carbon and hydrogen butanol ethanol ethanoic acid propanoic acid uh, pentanone benzene anthracene organic chemistry because carbon is the main component in those compounds and organic chemistry is very very important in the industrial level so whatever the synthesis of anything so it will be related to the they will be usually organic compounds and uh, let me tell you this is my favorite uh, branch of chemistry so i'll be little biased physical chemistry so it is a branch of chemistry deals with the relationship between the physical properties of substances and their chemical composition and how do they transform see you know 
we do this um, titration to calculate the concentration see we are applying maths to know the chemistry which is happening at the macroscopic level right we have the number for that and um, how the composition of the properties change with respect to temperature pressure that is what we study under physical chemistry in organic chemistry we already know about organic chemistry you know that is carbon and its compounds but what about the other elements we have so many elements other than carbon so that compounds are studied under inorganic chemistry metallurgy or the reducing agent oxidizing agent the catalyst chromatography they all come under inorganic chemistry analytical chemistry see we always want to know you know we say is this safe to eat or can i take this medicine and let me tell you from the lab to the market you know the launching of drug or the synthesis it takes a lot of time because it is very 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 important to know so what they are adding whether it is good or bad and that was studied under analytical chemistry so you take something you will study what it is made of so how what proportion should it be added so how much is good what is okay what is not okay that will be studied under analytical chemistry biochemistry the living organisms many reaction takes place inside us right mitochondria powerhouse of cell atp synthesis atp adenosine triphosphate chemical compound glycolysis so there will be transfer of electrons right so then uh, na plus k plus ions ka transportation chemistry r so biochemistry it is a branch of chemistry that deals with the study of all the life processes in a living organism these are the branches of chemistry so but in everyday life we use chemistry or the reactions or the compounds in various fields agriculture atmospheric science atmosphere what is it made of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide the ozone layer ka depletion o3 and the pollutants acid rain when the oxides of nitrogen and sulfur gets mixed with water you will get acid rain and how can you prevent the pollution or the global warming for that also we are relying on the composition or the chemicals that has been uh, released from industries and all that we are checking on it right because those chemicals are affecting or are the reason for the pollution chemistry forensic science biochemistry medicine take any tablet or tonic look at the ingredients we find benzyl thymine so they are all compounds no they have been synthesized using some chemical reaction chemistry dyes and paints so in one song in one movie there is like take the world and paint it red Ah, huh? we want to. We want our world to be colorful. That we need dyes and paints. Chemistry. Ah, you got it now. High five. Agriculture. From where should I start? Okay. Minerals in the soil that makes our soil fertile. Then coming to pH. If it's too acidic, too basic, not good. So we'll add some bases to. neutralize the excess of acid then we use pesticides fertilizers fertilizers ammonia and they are chemical compounds no from growing a, a tomato a tomato to getting the tomato ketchup just imagine how many chemicals or how many processes that have taken place tomato ketchup you have to add some preservatives hai right? na because we store it for days together the pickle which your mom or grandmother prepares usually they'll add vinegar to avoid the spoilage then the chips we buy sometimes we complain right ayyo only air why are we paying so much but why they have put that air that is basically nitrogen so what happens there is this a uh, phenomenon called as rancidity where which is the oxidation of the oil and fats 
that will change the smell and taste of the compounds you don't want that to happen right so this nitrogen will inhibit this reaction will prevent the oxidation because the oxygen cannot enter or cannot react with the food that is the reason see chemistry in processed food also cleansing agents or the soaps and detergents we use soaps take sodium hydroxide treat it with fatty acid sodium salts soaps chemical reaction the bleaching powder and the chlorine we use potash alum we use to purify the water right cosmetics or the skin care products take anything okay i have something here let me read out the ingredients phenyl benzimidazole sulfonic acid disodium phenyl benzimidazole tetrasulfonate then uh, ethyl hexyl stearate cyclopentasiloxane what are they chemical compounds no cosmetics maybe forensic science they use this chromatography and uh, centrifugation for the blood test and the drug test and uh, dna matching chemistry again kitchen it is a lab trust me and the cooking is a chemical reaction see we always sometimes we feel ki ah aaj khane mein kuch gadbade yaar no it is not in the right proportion that is because the spices or whatever the ingredients that have been not added in a right proportion and salt without which a food mm-hmm, nacl sodium chloride and uh, the fermentation of batter we have to leave it overnight right and milk to curd chemistry you name something and you can explain that using chemistry cooking batteries electrochemistry food paper industry pill soap petrol fractional distillation will take crude oil fractional distillation then you will get different fuels petrol diesel gasoline concrete the cement plastic clothes chemistry no see so what i want you to do is don't just see start observing start analyzing things why it is happening see i want to have water h2o hydrogen and oxygen breathing oxygen in nutshell i can conclude life without chemistry see at one point we have taken some vaccine and antibiotics you know right so many diseases can be treated so if we didn't have those what about our life span so without the chemicals which we use can we do you think we can live nice life chemistry very 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 important so start looking at the things differently you know start observing okay what is happening you know what i do so i'll just tell you know when we were just sitting with the family or friends i'll i'll sometimes i'll tell you know if i'm seeing some uh, uh, different chemical reactions okay you know the reason behind this is see this is what is happening so it's good and uh, two days ago my cousin came ki oh instead of consoling him of course i did that so i said ha huh, you know why why it is happening because the ph of your teeth is below 5.5 that is when the tooth decay starts so when we go to a dentist they'll recommend you a toothpaste which will contain base which will neutralize the excess of acid that is the reason for tooth decay see you even you can do that but for that you have to know those things right and you get all kind of information regarding chemistry in our channel right place to be at to learn more about chemistry so how was the video let me know in the comment section or you know you can even tell me some incidents which like blown your mind i'm like this is science wow or you know after watching this video you might relate ha ah, ma'am this happened yeah 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 no do let me know or if you knew all this well and good 
राइट दैट ऑल्सो आई बी वेरी हैप्पी यू हैव ऑलरेडी लाइक द वीडियो नो सब्सक्राइब भी किया है इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब यू आर मिसिंग लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स सो डू सब्सक्राइब आल सी यू सून टिल देन यू नो वॉट टू डू Keep loving chemistry, elementary chemistry by Vedantu and your master teacher Surabhi. Okay then, chalo I leave. Bye bye. Take care.